Good evening friends. Uh, so in this session I quickly want to uh, cover a very simple important uh, topic here in SSIS is, is to copy the objects from one SQL Server database to another including the indexes, uh, foreign key constraints, dependent objects uh, and everything. What would be uh, your way of doing things if you were to copy objects in the dependent index uh, foreign keys cons constraints and uh, their respective indexes. So, so to do sh to do so, what we have in SSIS is is a copy SQL object uh, task. We'll see how to use that uh, quickly. So what I have here in my dev database is is two uh, tables A and B. Uh, the data of which is, is something like this. We just have got two records in each of them, and uh, the table schema looks something like this, uh, where the ID column is having a primary key uh, constraint and hence a clustered index. The other I have created a B table which is also having uh, which is uh, having a non-clustered index on the name column and also a refers has a foreign key uh, reference to our table A ID column. So uh, I so these are the two tables we'll be trying to transfer as an object uh, along with their foreign key and indexes uh, from the dev database uh, to my work database. This is a simple uh, database. Uh, so what I have here is there is there are um, there are no A and B object tables currently, and we'll try to transfer this uh, this object along with their schema design uh, and indexes from one uh, from dev database uh, to the work DB. So let's see how we do that quickly. To do so, uh, let me pull out the copy SQL object task. This is uh, the task that we'll be using and now if you open this task uh, and go to the objects tab you'll be given the source uh, connection which is the server that you have to uh, write. So this is the server and you have to give the database. Let me call it dev and again since the destination, destination is again the same uh, and this is work db. So this is the destination database. Now uh, going back again if you see you will be given an option to drop the objects first if it exists uh, drop the object uh, we keep it to false uh, we say include extended properties uh, yes and uh, copy the data yeah let's also get the data copied uh, copy the schema uh, use the same collation settings we set it to true use uh, dependent objects uh, right we put it to false as of now uh, alright uh, let's put it to true and, and, and see how uh, copy all objects is set to false now if you go to the objects to copy you'll get uh, not only tables but views uh, stored procedures uh, functions uh, and, and, and there will be a list if you if you set to set the all tables to true uh, everything will get copied so put, if we put it to false and we go and, and find the list we say uh, the objects as A and B or rather uh, to see this thing uh, correctly let's just get uh, B copied and see if A go gets copied as well because we have set the flag of the dependent objects as true so if we copy B since B depends on, on A uh, A should also be copied because of this property so we are just going to copy one table and next we'll drill down next we drill down uh, and see the table options so in the security if you want the user roles etc to be copied uh, you can do that currently we'll quickly see uh, we'll set the indexes to be true and also the primary and the foreign key constraints uh, to be true uh, we want them to be automatically set up for us uh, after the task executes. Uh, so this is, we are done now. And uh, let's set it to OK and then let's run our package. Right, so as we can see, the uh, the tables have been copied. 
and uh, if we refresh we'll see both the tables yeah you can see both the tables have been copied now let's just go ahead and check quickly uh, if uh, the schema looks good to us and as well as the data now let's square it across yeah the data is okay uh, let's see for B if we have the non cluster indexes and the foreign key uh, looks good the non cluster index has been copied and also the foreign key reference to a ID column has been set for a if we look uh, we'll get the primary key uh, on the ID column to be set for us and also the reference is correctly set so uh, this was just a quick introduction for you uh, to see if the objects uh, how quickly you can copy the objects along with the data and the dependent uh, indexes uh, or foreign keys uh, quickly if you have to from one database to another this would be a quick way you can not only copy uh, your objects uh, as such of, of the tables you can also copy uh, your views uh, and the other objects uh, by selecting the appropriate options I would leave it here for you to play around and do get back if you have uh, if you find anything uh, troublesome to you and, and you, you want to if you would like to share any, any experiences uh, during the task uh, execution thanks so much guys